Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to the video. And today, let's go over the hot fix that came with the big patch yesterday, patch 1.2.0. Actually, an hour before that patch was released, the 1.5 or the 1.1.5 uh, hot fix was also released. So, if you are still on patch 1.1.0, uh, there is another hot fix out for that branch. If you're sticking to that uh, branch or the 1.1 branch and not moving on to the 1.2 branch, let's go over what's in the uh, patch notes. And I'm gonna let you know right now, but blam, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. It's one, another one of those very small uh, fixes with a bunch of crash fixes that were also included in the patch 1.2.0. But again, if you don't, if you're not planning on moving on, then you know, this is the one you're gonna stay on. So for single player, they fixed the crash that occurred when an agent executed a bash attack while holding a banner. There it is. Um, so whenever you were holding a banner and you try to do the bash, the bash attack or the kick attack. Then they fixed a crash that occurred when a banner uh, bearer agent spawned as a reinforcement. Okay. So there's a lot of crashes that had to do with banners. And they fixed a crash that occurred when entering a siege with siege engines in reserves. There it is. So if you had crashes for that... You can reload your save. It won't crash now. Uh, then for fixes, they fixed a bug that caused the tactics skill effects not to be displayed with correct values on the character screen. There you go. Values are fixed. And for multiplayer, they, fact, they fixed a dedicated server crash that more frequently occurred with Linksys server files. There you go. All you Linksys boys out there. Um, congrats. Uh, hopefully that uh, helps. Then for fixes, they fixed a bug that caused the player to get disconnected from the lobby when their party was disbanded during the game search. There you go. There it is. Again, very small, like all the other ones, like 1.1.2 1 uh, all the way through 1.1.4. So all those were very small, uh, just had crash fixes, bug fixes. And um, as you can see right here, this was kind of a funny thing I saw. A new update after one month. I hope there will be more. Bro, how's this? First of all, how are the moderators up in arms? You know what I mean? That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. But listen, after a month, he said, oh, this is all we get, right? And that's crazy how he clocked this so quick. Four minutes of it being up, he's already on it. It's crazy to me. And then um, they said, I really don't even care to complain anymore. We got like the, the silent type, you know what I mean? Hot fix, then big patch. But blam! One hour, one hour. Look at that. Less than one hour. Everyone was in despair. That's what I'm saying. Patience. Patience. Very easy. Then we have a, a community member saying, can I hire you as my new financial advisor, please? Nice. We have another dev coming out. I'm no longer getting uh, XP for troops when donating loot to them, a player says. It seems broken after new patch. Oh, this is just asking, is this a new thing that's happened? Okay, okay, okay. There it is. That is the hotfix for patch 1.1.5. Now, if you want to know more about the new patch, patch 1.2.0, this big bad boy right over here, I have a, a top 10 changes and I have a lot more videos coming out with a lot of the features in the new patch. So if you want to go check that out, first link down below and first link that's going to be pinned in the comments is going to be linked to that video for the top 10 uh, changes that we received in patch 1.2.0. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. I'll see you guys in the next one.